Hello, this is Master Fitness. I want to talk about real quick the 10,000 steps. 10,000 steps, that's the standard that they give, 10 to 12,000 steps, you know, daily. And what it does, really, it helps burn calories, what it does. But inside of the 10,000 steps, what I think that should be taking place and what I do is that you must get at least 20 to 30 minutes of non-stop moving inside of the 10,000 steps per day in order for you to help your health and wellness. Because remember, I just said the 10,000 steps is great for burning calories, which obviously helps you lose weight and help burn off some of that fat. But what you want to do as well, you want to work your heart, okay? Get that cardio level up there so you can expand those vessels and for your blood to flow evenly. Because obviously we know if you don't work out and you're inactive, that's when your vessels begin to shrink and your heart has to work harder. So in order to get the max the maximum effect out of those 10,000 steps. If you're doing 10,000, 12,000. Now, once again, anybody who follow me, Master Fitness, know I do 20,000 steps a day. You know, that's Monday through Friday. You know, and least case scenario sometime, if I go to another, my other workout plan, I alternate it. You know, 20,000 Monday, weights Tuesday. 20,000 Wednesday, weights Thursday, and so forth, and Friday, okay? And I do that sometime. However, what I'm getting at here simply is that in the process of whether you're doing 20, 10,000, or 12,000 steps, it's important to do that 20 to 30 minutes in there non-stop to get that heart rate up there, to get it up there, because if you research... If you research about getting your heart rate up there, the importance of getting your heart rate up there, it'll tell you that I think it's somewhere around 20 minutes that they, uh, I think maybe the standard to get, to get your heart rate up there where it's nonstop for 20 minutes. And that, obviously, that is for your health. That is for you to help strengthen your heart once again and to get those vessels to expand. You know, that's what that's for. For, and that is a good thing. That is good. Because if you are in an office, at a job, what you're doing really, you know, it's good. It's good. It's good for you. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if you want to get the maximum health effect and benefit out of it, you want to do in that 10,000 process, you want to get at least 20, 30 minutes nonstop where you don't stop moving, walking, running aerobics for 20 to 30 minutes nonstop. That's what I'm saying. You got to you got to get that out of it to help your heart and get your heart strengthened and get those vessels to open up to get to get that blood to flow in evenly because when you know vessels open up your heart doesn't have to work as hard as it will have to if you don't work out. You know, because again, them vessels will shrink on you. And when they start shrinking, your heart obviously has to work harder to pump that blood throughout your extremities. So that's something I do. Because if you're at a job somewhere, and you can be at home, you can be wherever you are, and what you're doing more so is that you're, you, are, you, you, may have, you may have your watch on there, right? And you're getting up, and you're checking your watch. I got to get my 10,000 steps. I got to get my 12,000 steps whatever your goals are per day. And you get up and watching that, you'll walk for five minutes and, you know, six, seven minutes, then you'll sit back down. Okay, get back at the desk again. You get back up and you'll walk and do that. And you will finally get to your 10 or 12,000, whatever that day. And that, that is a good achievement. But just remember what I just said, the most, you know, one of the most important things, get your health out of it as well. Just don't get the burning the fat out of it because that's what you're doing once again. You want to work this heart. You want to work these vessels. 
You want these vessels to expand. You want to improve your health and wellness. That, to me, is the most important thing. Because once you get that in there, you know, you're covering all of the grounds. I mean, if you can go 20 to 30 minutes nonstop, whatever you're doing, you know, and say, for example, that puts you at two or 3,000 steps. I don't know, 3,000 steps. I don't know what it would put you at. And then you can concentrate on everything else, getting the rest of your steps. Because at that point, you have worked your heart. You, you have got your heart at, you know, up there, your heart level up there for that 20 to 30 minutes. And you work that. You work that hard. You strengthen that hard. And then rest of the day, you get your steps in the rest of that day, which will also help burn that fat off you as well. This is Master Fitness. Like, subscribe, and come on a ride with me. Everything about health and wellness, uh, we covered here on Master Fitness from walking, and I love to walk. Walking to me is, a, is, is, is great. That's one of my main exercises is walking because I can walk for miles and miles and miles, you know, and you don't have to get out here and just fast paced walk and burn yourself out. Walking is just as effective as running. Okay. Now, unless you train it for some track or marathon and you got to get your legs all built up and whatever. But if you are out here trying to get in shape and trying to get your fitness level up, trying to increase your cardio, trying to get that heart strengthened. Walking is just, it's just as good. You don't, you don't have to pound your knees. You don't have to get out here and just run, run, run. You don't have to do that. Walking is sufficient. And if you can't walk, well, then there's other exercises we can do. There's plenty of things you can do. But the most important thing, I tell you, the most important thing is that we can't just sit back and say, well, you know, I can't walk. You know, that's just something I can't do. I got bad knees. Well, I'm not telling you to be like me because I do have bad knees. And I do walk <laughs> on my bad knees regardless. But I can handle the pain threshold. So, but everybody can't do that. So for the people who can't, I have things for you that we can do to help you with that. There's other things to do because the most important thing is up here. You know, it's important things to say, well, I just can't walk. That's it. No, no, no. That's not the right thing. That's not the way to get out of it. We find something else to do because the most important thing is that got to work out. You have got to work out. Whether you're young or going into your later years, you got to work out. You just can't sit there and do nothing. If you sit there and do nothing and be inactive, well, that's when your uh, your vessels start to shrink, gain a little weight, and your heart has to work harder. If, you, if your heart has to continue to work harder all the time, that is not a good thing. That is not good for you health and well for health and wellness, and it's not a good thing for your heart. How long can it do that? Continue to just work hard to try to pump blood into vessels that is uh, shrinking, you know, that is shrinking and the blood is just squeak, you know, just creeping through there when they should be expanding, I'm talking about your vessels and the blood should just be flowing evenly through there. That's what cardio does. That's what the 30 minutes I'm talking about does, you know, when you get that heart rate up there for 30 minutes. That's what I'm talking about. So once again, like, subscribe, and come on a ride with Master Fitness. Let's get these bodies in shape.